You're welcome, Pastor Reverend Peter. Today, you're most welcome. God bless you. Amen and amen and amen. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we have met out there a little bit, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. But again, to sit here in person and just to listen to you, yes. what a privilege it is. Thank you so much. It is a privilege. Yes, it's an honor. Yes. Um, this, um, while we were in service, I'll just dive in at this moment because I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Just hearing and um, knowing a little bit about what God has done for you. Um, I heard in the service today you gave us um, um, a preview of the testimony of what God has done. And we are here with you, a man who's been given four days, four days to leave. No, 72, 72 hours. 72 that, hours. That, that's three days. Wow. Three days. 72 hours to leave, and you're sitting here yes. looking like this. And that was last year, September last year. September last year. Yeah. So we're talking about 2020, and we're in 2021, the month of March. Mm -hmm. And it was on 2020, September, that I was given three days to leave. Wow. Three days to leave. And wow. I was um, put in the palliative um, care and um, uh, palliative room. Mm -hmm. And in the palliative room, you are not given any medication because they say it's waste of medication. Uh, because uh, you are going to die anyway. So why waste the medication? So the, you are only allowed to have a little bit of pain medication so that um, um, you're not in pain. You're not in pain when you go. When you when you go, yeah. uh, that's uh, it's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. But uh, what what amazes me is what God has done between September and the month of March. Yes, it's not even a year. Yes, a person given seventy two hours to leave. Mm -hmm. Basically 72. Yes. I know most of us, even if we were told that you're left with a month to die, mm -hmm. we would be just running around hel helpless and just crying ourselves to death. Mm -hmm. And some people prefer to take their own lives. Yes. But you're talking about this God. Tell us about this God and what he's really done. Yeah, I was there, you know, uh, we talk of this uh, pandemic that uh, maybe it's a very bad thing or something like that. Yeah. But um, I was there, I, I thank God for part of the pandemic also. Yes. Because um, I was there going on the phone uh, with my church. Yes. We are doing the virtual and I was going on the phone uh, joining the prayers, doing everything together, the service together. They, they, they were calling me, thinking that I was in my house, that I have to share the communion. The communion. And that was when the palliative doctor was there uh, to attend to me. But I have to tell the palliative doctor to go. To, to hold on. Uh, yeah, to, 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 to leave, to leave wow. the place because I'm going to give you my own prescription. <laughs> and uh, he was wondering what prescription is. And yes. uh, somebody who's about to die and talking about prescription. prescription. Then he asked me, what's the prescription? I showed him the the little cookie and um, the juice. Uh, yes. And uh, he, he laughed at me. It and didn't said, make sense. I said, what, 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 what does this make? It doesn't make any sense for somebody who's about to die. What will uh, the cookie wow. uh, do for him if medication wow. cannot do something to him? Then wow. what will the cookie and uh, this thing? But that was the whole thing that turned the whole the whole thing around. Wow, amen. You, you know, as you're talking, uh, the, the Lord is just reminding me. Uh, you know, we are today is called it's the Palm Sunday. You already know that. Yes. And uh, it's the Holy Week. We are going into that place whereby we're reminded of the body of Christ. We are reminded how He was beaten, how He was uh, He went on to the cross for us. Yes. Now I believe in Holy Communion with all my heart, mind, soul, spirit. Yes. It is something that the Lord has led my family and I every night. Yes. I cannot even imagine if I wasn't home and uh, I arrived home and I realized the little ones did not take Holy Communion. It does not matter how the per one is so sleepy. Yes. At that point, it's it's medicine to our soul. It's like, fellow per wake up, we got to take Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. Tell us the importance of this because you said this is the turning point. Yes. It was the Holy Communion. 
Tell us what it means that people need to understand that Holy Communion is medicine. It is healing. Yes, it's uh, the prescription God has given for our cure. Yes. Uh, because um, it's the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. And this is greater than any kind of medication. Yes. Because by that time, my PSA was... Uh, uh, 1,600, wow. as they said, and they said it's irreversible. It cannot come down with even any me- kind of medication. But when I took this, which is the body and the blood of Jesus oh, Christ, Jesus. the whole thing turned around and came down instantly to 400. Wow. And wow. when it came down to 400, that was when they started their medication. So it was not the medication now yes. that brought it down. It yes. was the communion that brought it down. And so, even though when wow. I was taking the, the, the medication, I was also taking the uh, communion further and until it came down to 20. Well, so pastor, what yes. you are saying, they told you you're palliative. Mm-hmm. They're not going to give you any medication. Yes. They're not going to do anything mm-hmm. except to numb the pain so that you're not feeling pain when um, death comes because yes. that's what they had said to you. Yes. But yet you take Holy Communion. Yes. And the Lord, you, basically the medication by man at that point couldn't work. Yes. Not that it does not work, but in this case, it would not work at anymore. All, at all. And then the Lord gets you into taking his body and his blood, and this was the changing point. That's correct. And you're saying that you did this in the palliative room, in the palliative a place room. where a lot of us would have given up. I'm talking about a lot of us. I'm not just talking about maybe uh, the perfect ones because we we all reach that place where maybe sometimes our faith goes down and we feel weak. But you're saying in the palliative room, you're sitting there and then now they ask you to lead um, the Holy Communion, um, the breaking of bread and drinking of the blood of Jesus and you still went ahead and did this. What gave you that... um, Boost. What just gave you that hope? What, what was it that made you to keep on doing this? Because, I uh, see, the Bible told us that David yes. said, I've looked unto the hills, look unto the uh, valleys, mm. where cometh my help. Mm-hmm. My help cometh from the Lord. Because the doctors has already given up on me. Yes. And the medications has failed in this condition. Mm. I had no hope any other place. So only in the Lord. And uh, once, since I have known and I have seen how the uh, communion have solved problem for Mm -hmm. many people, Mm -hmm. so I went ahead and said, this is the only last hope I have. So if I take this, this is going to change my condition. And when I took it, then that was the whole thing that changed my condition. Pastor Peter, you know what amazes me, what, what, amazes me not shocks but amazes me because that's the god whom we serve is that god has done this in your life and through your life and um i also want to go back on a little thing that you talked about you said psa now a lot of people going through what you went through and the lord has healed you from do not understand psa can you just break it down in layman's um terms so that even uh, the one who might be in the hospital right now watching or that person who's listening to us right now whatever they are maybe youtube um facebook social media that they may know really what god healed you from and they may understand and claim this healing also for themselves okay i was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer Mm -hmm. and uh, this prostate 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 cancer has to go with uh, the psa means uh, um, prostate a specific uh, um, uh, antigen. Mm-hmm. That is what they call it. Okay. And they say every male have that mm-hmm. and um, it has to be from number five downwards. Wow. Number five wow. downwards. So wow. mine was six when it was diagnosed mm-hmm. and from six, it went to 700 and when it went to 700, uh, then that was when the pain becomes so severe. Mm-hmm. Then I have to go to emergency. Mm-hmm. And when I went to emergency, but before I went to emergency, that was when uh, 
uh, my wife called for prayers in the house. Yes. So prayers was done in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the prayers was done in the house, uh, the thing didn't stop. Yes. Uh, the, thing, the thing didn't die down. But he went, he continued, and uh, was going up, up, wow. up like that. And uh, he went to 1,600. And when it was 1,600, uh, which supposed to be normal, only five. 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 To 1,600. 1,600. So uh, they declared me uh, palliative. a palliative uh, patient. Wow. And um, um, oh, it was uh, after the communion now that it came down to 400. Amen. Amen. 400 from 1,600. Wow. And from 400, I continued the communion. Then it came down to 20. And it was from 20. Then I asked them, what number do they want it? <laughs> they say zero. Uh -huh. And um, I continued the communion. Um, though I was discharged when it was 20, but yes. the communion I continued in my house. Yes. And uh, the last time I went to for checkup, they say it has come down to 0 0.13. <laughs> Amen and amen and amen. Wow. 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 That's uh, now, th this just blows my mind. From five, as it's supposed to be in the body, yes. and then yours went to six, mm -hmm. and then after that blew up to 1,600. Yes. And God, by the body and the blood of Jesus, starts bringing this thing down once you started to take Holy Communion yes. with faith, believing in the Lord God Almighty. Yes. That when you take this, this will change your entire life. Yes, and it did. And it did. And it has. Yes. And it's been confirmed on paper. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people sometimes say, oh, I'm healed, I prayed, and I'm healed. Mm -hmm. And they don't go back to the doctor to confirm. Mm -hmm. And that's very important for us Christians yeah. to have a paper that actually shows that even the doctor himself says, you know what? Yeah, this pain is gone. Mm -hmm. And you have that confirmed to 0 0.01. Yes, because the doctors are even confused. They said, we don't know what is happening to you, but uh, what we know is uh, now you are out of palliative. That was the last word they told me. Oh, wow. They say you are out of palliative. Even they permitted me to travel, to go <laughs> back to work, to do wow. anything I want to do, and um, uh, that I'm, 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 I'm okay now. Wow. You know, um, when I hear this, the Lord is good. There is a, the time when... Um, we gathered at your place to pray when um, my sister Mercy called us there yes. and other women there, we were all there praying. Yes. You didn't look like this. And now you come in church and you're looking all perfect, just like you were in the, on the book right here. Yes. Y you were seated in pain. Mm -hmm. And after we pray, mm -hmm. and then it's even more yes. emergency then. Yes. And not only that, while we were praying, the Lord said something, did something. Can yes. you please share what God said in that prayer instance when we were there? I was in a very severe pain mm -hmm. and uh, I was um, calling God to take me home. Yes. Either God take away the pain mm -hmm. or take me home. That was the answer I was expecting to hear. Yes. Uh, but uh, when um, um, the, you people came, uh, as my wife called, yes. and um, you people were crying, and uh, I was looking at, mm -hmm. uh, at the people. I said, do these, these people know what is pain mm -hmm. at all? Mm -hmm. they, maybe they don't know what is pain. Mm -hmm. So as they were crying, um, the answer I was expecting to hear is God to tell me, okay, I'm taking you home, uh, or maybe I'm taking away the pain, mm -hmm. but Rather, what I heard is God said, I'm going to take you through this. Amen. I'm going to be with you through Amen. this. So Amen. that was what, not what I expected to hear <laughs> anywhere. But um, um, when I went to hospital and they said, okay, you are dying in uh, 72, 72 hours. 72 hours. I yes. said, oh, that was what I have been expecting to hear. <laughs> But um, I was not expecting to hear it from the doctors yes. or from, uh, from the human side. Yes. I was expecting to hear it from God. From God. So, uh, but that's why I didn't believe that. Yes. Rather, I believed you the know. one God said. Amen. God said, you will not die. I'm Amen. going to see you through. I'm going Amen. to take you through, uh, Amen. through this. Amen. And that was what I believed. And that's why even in the hospital, I didn't believe I'm going to die. Mm-hmm. 
it's it's amazing that we pray all these prayers now you are holy ghost filled man a pastor a teacher of, of the word writer of books upon books i have watched in your household how the children your own children are so <laughs> filled by the fire of the holy ghost yes. when they worship the fire of the lord literally you know the presence of the lord is so physically there but yet the lord said you're going to pass through this and I'm going to see you through it. Yes. I guess that should I, that was just as you're saying a turning point in your life to cause you to actually believe in the hospital. Yes. That even when they said 72 hours, yes. just like you said, yes. you went back onto that word. Yes. You see, sometimes um, we think um, that um, when we ask God mm -hmm. take away this, God yes. will just uh, do it the yes. way maybe we want it. Yes. God is a king. He has the way of doing things and um, he has his own way of, and every way he has of doing things are very perfect. Amen. So he does it in a perfect way Amen. that you may not imagine. Yes. So I was thinking of the other way around, but he has the final answer yes. and he did it um, the way he wants to do it as a king. Yes. And that is a lesson to all of us. Yes. That sometimes when we cry unto God mm -hmm. to do something for us, yes. God has the final answer, has the final way yes. of doing it. Yes. So he may say, okay, I'm, I'm not taking it away, but... Uh, I'm going to lead you through through that. Wow. And even that's why, you see, the people of Israel are the country that has was to suffer in this planet mm -hmm. Earth. But there are those that God loves so much. <laughs> so, so much thanks God, we just lead them through it. Yes. And they will go through it. But when they go through it, God will surely deliver them. Amen. And Amen. that is uh, his assurance and his uh, promise to everyone who believe on him. You know, that that really tells us of the scripture um, that you know. For I know the plans that I have toward you. Yes. The plans that I have toward you. Yes. So it reminds me everything that you're saying. The plans that He has toward us might not necessarily be like take it away, take the pain away. Yeah. Um, maybe that person who's watching us right now, mm -hmm. who's been praying for God and saying this pain is too much, take it away. It's it's upon cancer diagnosis, upon one after the other, yeah. and praying that the, the Lord should take it away but yet you're saying that he knows the plans for us that his plans are perfect correct that he allowed you to go through it yes. no matter what the circumstance was yes and here you are yes and what he, an encouragement he, he did that so many times in the bible wow. you see like um, david he could have allowed david not to go um, oh, sorry, Daniel. Yes. He could have allowed Daniel not to go into the lion's den. Yes. But he went into the lion's den with Daniel. Yes. He could have allowed Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego not to go into the uh, furnace. Yes. But he went there to the extent that Nebuchadnezzar saw him that <laughs> I saw the fourth person. Yes. He was still inside that uh, furnace with them. Yes. So God does that with anyone who believes on him. Amen. Even if you go through the uh, storm, even yes. if you go through uh, the hardest time yes. in their life, God is there with you. Amen. God was with me even in the palliative room. God mm -hmm. came inside the palliative room wow. with me. And wow. I believe for how long I stayed there, God was there with me all those days. Wow. 72 hours. Yes. 1,600. Yes. PSA level, that's the level of cancer, um, whatever it is, uh, antigens yes. in your body. Yes. To 0 0.01. Zero, yeah, 0 .0, 0 0.13 now. 0 0.13. Yeah. Isn't that... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. Somebody, I know someone who's listening in right now or is going to watch this mm -hmm. to know that if God did it for you, he can do it for them. Even, Pastor, encourage them. Even doctors cannot explain it. Yes. But um, the only thing I have to tell everybody, mm -hmm. I believe God just delivered me to be a living witness, a yes. living testimony yes. to everyone. Yes. That um, if God can do this for me, mm -hmm. God can do it for everyone. Amen. It's not that I'm the best person on earth. Yes. It's not that I do it right, yes. uh, better than anybody. But yes. the only difference is that I believe in God. Amen. I have my anchor in God. Yes. And I believe that if anybody who is in pain, who is in 
crisis, who is in one trauma or yes. the other, yes. will come unto God and put his faith and trust in God. Mm-hmm. God can do it for such a person because God is not a respecter of any man, but he says, anyone who honors me, I honor him. Amen and amen. Pastor, I want to just veer off a little bit and ask another question, and this is back now to your family. Uh, I I have this group that I joined and uh, it's called the War Room. Okay. It's a play. It's it's a group of people that uh, come to pray. We all come to pray, but every day people post uh, issues that's happening in their lives, and we all pray together. And some people going through. Uh, I mean, went uh, are going through what for you God has already healed you from. And they say, my children, my wife, look, and they, you'll see somebody say, you know what, the cancer is now stage four, and I'm I'm worried. I'm leaving four little children. How did you? manage this because you have children how can you encourage someone out there who's going through it and wondering is god going to heal me how are these children going to be how's my wife or husband going to be whenever god lead you through something um, god has a way of um, uh, bringing other things um, that um, we substitute yes yeah, what is supposed to be doing in the family. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I believe that time I saw a, I saw a very much um, courage on my wife. Amen. My wife was juggling, going to work, wow. coming to hospital, taking care of the kids, wow. going here and there. God gave her an extra strength wow. that time. God gave the children also such a composure that um, even my daughter... Uh, wow. who could not uh, cook before now. Yes. She was able to cook. She was wow. able to manage uh, wow. things in the family. God gave them extra wisdom, extra strength, and um, wow. uh, they were doing that. And God was managing my family. Amen. Doing, doing the things Amen. that uh, 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 I usually do mm-hmm. when I was there. But mm-hmm. now that I was not there, God was there doing it for for, for us. So, Pastor, you, you, you're encouraging, you're telling that woman, that man who is worried right now because of the sickness that has come in, whatever the situation has come in, that God is going to help them and manage their family. God will be there surely for you. Amen. Uh, even uh, you cry about finances, mm. or about this and that. Mm. You see... Uh, some people ask me to stop the mortgage. Mm. That time I said, no, mm. God knows a way of uh, paying the mortgage. Mm. I was even in the mos- hospital, but the mortgage was going on. Wow. Uh-huh. So God was paying that. God was uh, doing all those things. I can't even explain <laughs> how all those things were going on. We had enough food in the house, <laughs> and even my wife was sharing food to yeah. our neighbors. Oh, I know her very yeah. well with that. She yeah. she, so, she shares food in the so, community, yeah. even when you were not, not able to. Yeah. So wow. She, she was doing that. Wow. This is just amazing. Well, I want to thank God for what he's done in your life because this is a testimony that is changing not only, not, has not only changed my personal life because even before the PSA came to 0.13 that when it came to just the the 700 it kept on coming down to me it strengthened me and you've been a testimony in my life the past months ever since we got to know of this you know you've been a testimony to the church to the pastor of this church to everybody who's been around you yeah. It's been a privilege. Pastor, yeah. I want Nobody. you to stretch forth your hand and pray for the people online. And not only pray, you, according to how the Lord leads you, maybe to invite them to Christ. I know you've invited them a couple of times already. Yes. And yes. Um, and also pray with yeah. those and w- w- those watching who are saying, I'm going through that, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. Amen. Those saying that I don't know how to do. I am going, my mind is going crazy right now. Yes. You know, those who are alone, there's some people who are with a cancer and all sorts of sicknesses and they're alone in their homes. So pray with them and also invite them to Christ. It's yours taking Yeah. Up. First of all, I tell everybody that is watching now that um, the only solution you have in your life is through Jesus Christ, Amen. the Bible says he is the way, yes. the truth, and the life. There is no other way to go to God mm-hmm. except through him. Amen. So if you believe on this, then you will see that all your giants, all your problems will be faced down. So I'm going to pray for you now. 
as um, you believe on what we have just said. Father, I thank you for everyone watching right now that um, you have made them to understand that the only way that they can be saved is only through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's the blood that was poured for the remission of every sin. And not only pouring it for remission of every sin, that is where all solution of every trouble, of every problem, of every crisis comes uh, through. Father, this time I pray for them as they have believed in the only one that you have sent on this earth to uh, be, to save us that uh, I pray for them right now yes, no Lord. matter what pain they are going yes, through Lord. no matter what trouble they are going through yes, you Jesus. did it for me yes. you can do it for them yes. right now in yes. their bed oh yes, God Lord. I declare yes. all the cancer yes. all the trouble yes. all arthritis yes. all the high blood pressure yes. all kind of diseases yes. right now bow and face down like name. Goliath face down yes, in, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus and name. let the people of God go yes. as God commanded Moses. Yes. He said, go and tell Pharaoh, yes. let my people go. Yes. And right now, now, let the blood of Jesus, Jesus Christ name. minister in healing Jesus and name. deliverance in unto Jesus anyone name. who is Jesus hearing name. us or seeing us right in now. Take up your mat in and Jesus go name. because the Lord you in believe Jesus on name. has already set you free. And you, the Lord, the Bible says, whosoever the Son shall set free is free indeed. And you are free. You are free and free and free. The blood of Jesus has set you free. Yes. Receive all glory, O oh God, yes. for having done it for them. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. And amen.